Retroperitoneal tumors are abnormal growths that develop in the retroperitoneal space, the area located behind the peritoneum, which is the lining of the abdominal cavity. These tumors can be either benign or malignant and can arise from various tissues such as fat, muscle, nerves, or lymphatic structures. The types of retroperitoneal tumors include liposarcomas, leomyosarcomas, malignant fibrous histiocytomas, and neurogenic tumors. Each type has distinct characteristics and behaviors, impacting the overall prognosis and treatment approach. The exact causes of retroperitoneal tumors are not well understood. However, certain genetic mutations and environmental factors might play a role in their development. Some retroperitoneal tumors are associated with inherited syndromes like Lefraumeni syndrome and neurofibromatosis, which increase the risk of developing various types of cancers, including those in the retroperitoneal space. Risk factors for retroperitoneal tumors include a family history of cancer, genetic predispositions, exposure to radiation, and certain chemical exposures. People with hereditary cancer syndromes are at a higher risk of developing these tumors. Additionally, occupational exposure to specific carcinogens can contribute to the development of retroperitoneal tumors. Symptoms of retroperitoneal tumors often develop gradually and may not become apparent until the tumor reaches a significant size. Common symptoms include abdominal pain or discomfort, a palpable mass in the abdomen, unexplained weight loss, and symptoms related to compression of nearby organs such as bowel obstruction, urinary retention, or lower back pain. Due to the deep location of these tumors, symptoms can often be vague and nonspecific, leading to delays in diagnosis. Treatment options for retroperitoneal tumors depend on the type, size, and location of the tumor, as well as the overall health of the patient. Surgery is the primary treatment for retroperitoneal tumors, aiming to remove the tumor completely. Complete surgical resection offers the best chance for long-term survival, particularly for malignant tumors. In cases where complete resection is not possible, debulking surgery may be performed to reduce the tumor burden. Radiation therapy and chemotherapy are often used as adjunctive treatments, either preoperatively to shrink the tumor or postoperatively to manage residual disease or reduce the risk of recurrence. Surgical management of retroperitoneal tumors involves complex and often extensive procedures. The goal is to achieve clear margins, which means removing the tumor along with a margin of healthy tissue to reduce the likelihood of recurrence. Due to the proximity of critical structures such as blood vessels, kidneys, and the spinal column, surgery for retroperitoneal tumors requires a high level of expertise and often involves a multidisciplinary team of surgeons, oncologists, and radiologists. Postoperative care focuses on monitoring for complications, managing pain, and supporting recovery through physical therapy and nutritional support. A nursing care plan for patients with retroperitoneal tumors includes preoperative and postoperative care, patient education, and psychosocial support. Preoperative care involves preparing the patient for surgery, including thorough assessments and optimizing their physical condition. Postoperative care includes vigilant monitoring for signs of complications such as infection, bleeding, and organ dysfunction. Pain management, wound care, and support for early mobilization are crucial components of nursing care. Nurses also play a key role in educating patients and their families about the disease, treatment options, and self-care strategies. Psychosocial support is essential, as the diagnosis and treatment of retroperitoneal tumors can be emotionally and mentally challenging for patients and their families. Addressing concerns, providing resources for coping, and facilitating support groups can significantly enhance the overall care experience. Retroperitoneal tumors present a complex medical challenge due to their deep location and potential impact on various bodily functions. Early diagnosis, effective surgical intervention, and comprehensive nursing care are critical for improving outcomes and quality of life for patients. Subscribe us for more videos like this and visit bizarrebiblio.com for notes and free PDF books. Thank you.